Hi guys, welcome to my study compass. In this video, I'll be walking you through the past paper, Math P1, Variant 2, May June 2022. Let's get started. Write the number 607,532 in figures. Here is the number written in figures. You can type 607,000 plus 532 into your calculator to confirm. From the list of numbers, write down a square number. From the list, 64 is a square number. 8 squared gives us 64. Write down a multiple of 13. From the list, 65 is a multiple of 13. 13 times 5 gives us 65. Write down a factor of 186. From the list, 62 is a factor of 186. It divides 186 completely with no remainder. Write down the prime numbers. From the list, 61 is a prime number. It has only two factors, one and itself. On the grid, draw a triangle that is congruent to triangle A. A triangle congruent to triangle A would have the same shape and size as triangle A. On the grid, we've drawn a triangle congruent to triangle A. The stem and leaf diagram shows the journey time to school of some students. Find the number of students with a journey time of more than 35 minutes. From the stem and leaf diagram, we see that there are six students who have a journey time greater than 35 minutes. Find the mode. The mode is the number that appears the most, and that is 19. This is Arrhenius' method to divide 213 by 12 and a half without using a calculator. Show how to use Arrhenius' method to work out 135 divided by 12 and a half without using a calculator. Just as the method shown in the table, in the first step, we multiply 135 by 2, giving us 270. And we also multiply 12 and a half by 2, giving us 25. In the next step, we are to double the numbers in the previous step. So 270 times 2 gives us 540. And 25 times 2 gives us 50. In the following step, we are to multiply the numbers in the previous step by 2. So 540 times 2 is 1080. And 50 times 2 is 100. In the final step, we divide 1080 by 100, which gives us 10.8. Sammy records the favorite hot drink of some students. He draws a bar chart to show this information. Write down two different reasons why his bar chart is incorrect. The first reason is that the width of the bars are not the same. Another reason is that the frequency scale is not uniform. Put one pair of brackets into each calculation to make it correct. To make this correct, we put a pair of brackets around 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2, so 6 times 2 plus 4 gives us 16. To make this correct, we put a pair of brackets around negative 2. Negative 2 all squared is 4, so 4 plus 24 divided by 12 minus 4 gives us 2. At noon, the temperature is 4 degrees Celsius. At midnight, the temperature is negative 9 degrees Celsius. Work out the difference in temperature between noon and midnight. To get the difference in temperature, we subtract the lower temperature, which is negative 9 degrees Celsius, from the higher temperature, which is 4 degrees Celsius. This gives us 13 degrees Celsius.
Thibault records the number of cars of each color in a car park. He draws a pie chart to show this information. Calculate the sector angle for the red cars. This sector angle is equal to the number of red cars, which is 3, divided by the total number of cars, which is 8 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3, times 360 degrees. This gives us 54 degrees. Two more white cars enter the car park and no cars leave the car park. When these two white cars are included in the results, will the sector angle for the red cars change? Without doing any further calculations, give a reason for your decision. Our answer is yes. The sector angle for the red cars will change because the total number of cars increase while the number of red cars stay the same. Find P minus Q. We've been given vector P to be 2, 8 and vector Q to be negative 1, 4. So to get the resulting vector, we subtract corresponding elements in the two vectors. So 2 minus negative 1 is 3 and 8 minus 4 is 4. So we have 3, 4. Find 6P. Vector P is 2, 8. So to get the resulting vector, we multiply each element in the vector by 6. So 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 8 is 48. So we have 12, 48. Find the total surface area of a cuboid with length 8 cm, width 6 cm, and height 3 cm. Here is the formula for the total surface area of a cuboid. L is 8 cm, W is 6 cm, and H is 3 cm. When we type this into the calculator, we get 180 cm squared. The total cost of N bags of flour is D dollars. Write down an expression for the cost of one bag of flour. The cost of one bag of flour is equal to the total cost for the bags, which is D dollars, divided by the number of bags, which is N. A bag of rice costs R dollars and a bag of almonds costs A dollars. Pedro buys X bags of rice and Y bags of almonds. Write down an expression for the change that Pedro receives from a $20 note. The change he receives is equal to the amount he paid, which is $20, minus the amount he paid for X bags of rice, which is R dollars times X, minus the amount he paid for Y bags of almonds, which is A dollars times Y. Find the value of square root of 68 times square root of 153. When we type this into the calculator, we get 102. Find the value of 6789 raised to the power 1 over 3. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. When we type 6,789 raised to the power 1 over 3 into the calculator, we get 18.94 rounded to two decimal places. Write the ratio 5 times 10 raised to the power negative 1 is to 2 is to 3 times 10 raised to the power 1 in its simplest form. 5 times 10 raised to the power negative 1 is half. 3 times 10 raised to the power 1 is 30. When we multiply through the ratio by 2, we have 1 is to 4 is to 60, which is in its simplest form. The nth term of a sequence is n squared plus 12. Find the first three terms of this sequence. For the first term of the sequence, we plug in n equals 1 into the nth term. So we have 1 squared plus 12, which is equal to 13. For the second term, we have 2 squared plus 12, which is equal to 16. And for the third term, we have 3 squared plus 12, which is equal to 21.
is 5196 a term in this sequence give a reason for your decision to check whether 5196 is a term in the sequence we equate 5196 to n squared plus 12. when we subtract 12 from both sides this is what we get when we take square root of both sides we get n equals 72. Based on this, our answer is yes. 5196 is a term in the sequence because we got an integer value for n, which is 72. Two of the numbers in this list are irrational. Put a ring around each of these irrational numbers. An irrational number is any number that cannot be expressed as a fraction. From the list, the irrational numbers are pi and root 3. Find the value of x. Since these two have the same base and they are multiplying, their powers add. So we have 9 raised to the power x plus 2, which is equal to 9 raised to the power 12. Since the bases are equal on both sides of the equation, then their powers must also be equal. So we have x plus 2 equals 12. When we subtract 2 from both sides, we get x equals 10. By writing each number in the calculation, correct to one significant figure, Find an estimate for the value of 27 minus 2.3 squared divided by 845.4 times 0.048. For 27, the first significant figure is 2. The number after 2, which is 7, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 2, giving us 3. The number after 2 becomes 0. So 27 becomes 30, rounded to one significant figure. For 2.3, the first significant figure is 2. The number after 2, which is 3, is less than 5. So we maintain 2. The numbers after 2 becomes 0. Since this 0 comes after the decimal point, it is insignificant. So 2.3 becomes 2, rounded to one significant figure. For 845.4, the first significant figure is 8. The number after 8, which is 4, is less than 5. So we maintain 8. The numbers after 8 become 0. The zeros that come after the decimal point are insignificant. So 845.4 becomes 800, rounded to one significant figure. For 0 0.048, the first significant figure is 4. The number after 4, which is 8, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 4, giving us 5. The number after 4 becomes 0. Since this 0 comes after the decimal point, it is insignificant. So 0 0.048 becomes 0 0.05, rounded to one significant figure. 30 minus 2 squared gives us 26. 800 times 0 0.05 is 40. 2 goes into 26 13 times and goes into 40 20 times. So we have 13 over 20. The length L meters of a piece of rope is 30.7 meters, correct to one decimal place. Complete the statement about the value of L. To correct L to one decimal place, we have 30.7 meters, then we bring in plus and minus 0 0.1, then we divide 0 0.1 by 2. For the lower bound of L, we have 30.7 minus 0 0.1 over 2 meters, which is equal to 30.65 meters. And for the upper bound of L, we have 30.7 plus 0 0.1 over 2 meters, which is equal to 30.75 meters. So we have L is greater than and equal to 30.65 and less than 30.75. Simplify 3 times 2a minus b minus b. When we expand the brackets, 
3 times 2a is 6a. 3 times negative b is negative 3b. Then we group like terms. Minus 3b minus b is minus 4b. So we have 6a minus 4b. Factorize x squared minus 8xy. The terms have a common factor of x. When we factor out x, we are left with x minus 8y. Find the lowest common multiple of 24 and 28. First, we need to list the multiples of 24 and 28. From this list, we see that the lowest common multiple of the two numbers is 168. The bearing of B from A is 59 degrees. Work out the bearing of A from B. On the diagram, we've indicated the bearing of A from B. We've been given the bearing of B from A to be 59 degrees. These two are interior angles. Interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So to get this angle, we subtract 59 degrees from 180 degrees, which gives us 121 degrees. The sum of the angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So to get the bearing of A from B, we subtract 121 from 360. This gives us 239 degrees. Without using a calculator, work out 4 1 over 8 minus 2 5 over 6. You must show all your working and give your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form. First, we need to convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions. So for 4 1 over 8, we have 8 times 4 plus 1, which is 33, divided by 8. And for 2, 5 over 6, we have 6 times 2 plus 5, which is 17, divided by 6. The LCM of 8 and 6 is 24. For 33 over 8, since we multiply the denominator by 3 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. So 33 times 3 gives us 99. For 17 over 6, since we multiply the denominator by 4 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 4. So 17 times 4 gives us 68. 99 minus 68 gives us 31. 31 over 24 is an improper fraction. So we need to convert it into a mixed fraction. 24 goes into 31 one time with a remainder of 7, which we divide by 24. So we have 1 7 over 24. The diagram shows two right angle triangles, ABD and BCD. AD is 5 meters, DC is 14 meters, and angle BAD is 53 degrees. Calculate BC. To get BC, we apply the Pythagoras theorem to triangle BCD. This gives us BC squared equals BD squared plus DC squared. We've already been given DC to be 14 meters, so we need to find BD. To get BD, we apply Sokatoa to triangle ABD. This gives us tan 53 degrees equals BD divided by 5 meters. When we make BD the subject, we get 5 tan 53 meters. When we plug in the value of BD and DC into the equation we have for BC and make BC the subject, this is what we have. When we type this into the calculator, we get 15.5 meters rounded to three significant figures. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye guys.